For 34 years, you have been a part of Discover Wisconsin. Thank you so much. Whether you're a viewer or someone whose story we've told on the show, you are all a part of telling the story of this great state known as Wisconsin. So from the bottom of our hearts here at Discover Wisconsin, thank you so much. Come along as we explore beautiful Calumet County. From epic views and natural parks to festive events and charming attractions, Calumet County is steeped in tradition and ready to be celebrated in any season. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Calumet County sits on the east side of Wisconsin's largest inland lake, Lake Winnebago. It's a short drive north from Milwaukee or south from Green Bay. So fall is harvest time here in Wisconsin and in Calumet County you get a great cross section of different farms to explore and get close to nature. We start our tour at Polly's Pumpkin Patch. You know, in fall, September and October, going to a pumpkin patch is kind of a rite of passage. But what are the special things families can enjoy when they come here to Polly's Pumpkin Patch? We have lots of pumpkins here in the yard. They can just come to the yard and walk around and purchase them, or they can take a wagon ride out to the field, pick their own out there. We have our 15-acre corn maze. We've got our farm animals that they can go see and pet. Well, how many varieties of pumpkins do you have here? I'm going out of my gourd just looking at them. With pumpkin squash gourds, we have around 35 to 40. These several different kinds of orange ones that grow tall or short and fat. Some of them are bumpy. We have pink ones, purple ones, blue ones, spotted ones, green ones. We have lots of different ones. So there's a lot of games. You can pick your pumpkins, and yep. it looks like there's other cool things like food and beverages you can grab and take home. Yes, we have a lot of stuff in our store, a lot of treats. We make our own apple cider donuts. And on the weekends in September and October, we have a kitchen and we serve lunch. I, I think you can talk me into the apple cider donuts. I think so too. I'll work them off on the All right. <laughs> Continue your tour of fall fun at Mulberry Lane Farms in Hilbert. So we're here at Mulberry Lane Farm, which is just outside of Sherwood. Bonnie, what is Mulberry Lane Farm most known for? There's a ton of stuff here. It's a true farm experience. Unfortunately, the family farm has become a thing of the past, but here we have a little bit of everything so you can come and experience true farming. Our mission is to educate school children about farming and farm animals. They have the experience of milking the cow, going into the sheep pen and feeling the wool of the sheep, hand feeding goats and cuddling a cute kitten and petting a pig. And the grown-ups seem to have a lot of fun too. We have little nooks and crannies throughout the farm, antique equipment, buildings that they can go through. And we find that grandparents love it as much, if not more than the little ones. Some of these are museums from the looks of it. The farm was established back in 1881 and it's a true working farm, 125 acres we cover. We like to keep it authentic. We have the red barn, the old tool shed, several areas that you can stroll through to, and take a step back in time. The kids love it here, the grown-ups love it here. What do you love about running a farm? I love seeing families come out. I love the smiles on the children's faces. It melts your heart. Just north of Brothertown, you'll find Heritage Orchard. We're walking down a, uh, a couple of rows here of our Red Delicious trees. Um, this was a nice crop this year, but our original orchard was actually started in uh, 1947, long before I was in the business. My parents lived here on this farm at that time and um, were able to uh, plant the apple trees in exchange for their rent. You bought this in 1976 and this is still very much a family run business. And generations of families have been coming here. Yes. What can people expect when they you know, bring their kids and get ready for a nice day here? What can they do here at Heritage Orchard? Well, we're, we're very traditional. We've tried to emphasize the food and the apple quality and the wholesomeness of being able to come out 
pick your own apples and enjoy the products that we make or sell here. To be able to enjoy the outdoors and take home something with them that they can enjoy when they go home. Fruit, good apple cider, and good bakery, hopefully some good memories. Well, it's literally the fruits of your labor. Yes, it is. So we got to see the apple orchard here, we got to see the pumpkin patch, and we got to see a working farm, complete with tons of different animals you can see and pet and learn about. Lots of great fun to be had here in fall. And Calumet County is beautiful. Hey there, Wisconsin. Susan Foch here from The Cabin Podcast, AKA the official podcast of Discover Wisconsin, here to help you celebrate 35 years of this iconic tourism TV show. Welcome back to Calumet County here on Discover Wisconsin. In the winter, when Lake Winnebago freezes over, thousands of people set up their shanties for a very unique fishing event, sturgeon spearing. Sturgeon are awesome fish. They're around here since the dinosaurs, so over 150 million years ago. And sturgeon are really synonymous with Winnebago. Uh, early on, people recognized the specialness of Winnebago, and they put protective measures on the sturgeon here. So they controlled harvest a long, long time ago. And that's why we can have the harvest we can on this system. That's why we have such a large population, and it's healthy. Why did I start spearing? My dad was a sturgeon spearer. I started going with him when I was five. My uncles all did it, my friends all did it, so our whole group here, a lot of us have been spearing together for almost 50 years now. Sturgeon spearing isn't about being successful because there's only like a 13 or 15 percent success ratio. It's more about the camaraderie out here. There's nothing like the rush of seeing a sturgeon come into the hole, that's for sure. If you look at the station here where people come register fish, a lot of spectators come just to see the cool fish. It's a really a community cultural experience. A lot of people enjoy it and a lot of people get excited about it. A favorite stop in Chilton, no matter what season, is Vern's Cheese. They've been distributing some of Wisconsin's finest cheeses and dairy products throughout the Midwest for over 50 years. We are a third generation family owned business. My parents started it in 1964 and we've been going strong ever since. The selection here seems to have a lot of unique items. We have a lot of specialty cheeses that you can't just find all over. Besides the more popular ones, what people come to Wisconsin for is your cheese curds and string cheese. That's always a top seller. Well, I'm looking forward to sampling some of these. Oh, you can. <laughs> the bottom line is, if you love cheese and a wide variety of Wisconsin products, I mean, everywhere I look, I'm seeing some unique Wisconsin items from really all over the state. You want spreads, eggs, beer, wine, huge selection of everything. It's uh, all right here in Chilton at Vern's. And Kelly, thank you so much. Thank you. For the tour and for the cheeses. And um, look that way. Okay. okay. What? <laughs> from snowmobiles to snow blowers, winter wouldn't be the same without Aaron's company. And at the Aaron's Museum, you can get a look at the history of one of America's most trusted power equipment manufacturers. Well, we're standing in what was the original manufacturing plant for Aaron's company. Today it's been converted into a 14,000 square foot museum that covers the history of the American landscape. There's lawnmowers everywhere, there's snow throwers, and we're standing in front of snowmobiles, which was a brief part of Aaron's history. It's a small part of the history, but it's an important part of the history, and it's one that really resonates with people in Wisconsin. The museum really started in 2003, and it was a group of retired employees who pulled some equipment that was in the back of the building out onto a museum floor. Over the years, they were able to acquire more equipment, they added artifacts and exhibits. Today, we have a full service museum that's open to the public 12 months a year. We offer guided tours, we offer school tours. We're very proud of our manufacturing heritage in the state. You can kind of immerse yourself in time and space when you come into this museum. A lot of museums, you can't touch anything. Here you can sit on just about everything. You can turn gears, you can learn about how things work. It's a fascinating place, really, for the whole family. I'm actually smarter walking out of here because I've learned things about how some of these machines work, and it's just an unbelievably cool place to check out. Want to learn more about our favorite places to visit in Wisconsin? Subscribe to Discover Wisconsin's official podcast, The Cabin. When we come back, we'll discover Calumet County in bloom.
I don't know about you, but spring's one of my favorite times of year. And whether you have a green thumb or not, a trip to Honeymoon Acres in New Holstein will have you dreaming of flowers and potted plants. Well, take me back to 1984 and tell me a little bit more about the history of this place. Real young, I worked for my dad in his greenhouse in Pennsylvania. My brothers both lived up here, so I moved to Wisconsin and helped with the honeybees. I met my wife, Marcy, and we started the business and spend as much time as we could together and raise our kids together doing this business. Almost 40 years of doing this, we're all still here, all the kids are working here, and we're all just together. It's a huge greenhouse and you draw people from all over the region and even state. What do you think it is that makes the customers drive the long distance and keep coming back year after year? Whatever it is, I'm glad they do it because we love doing it. We do produce almost three million plants a year here. The first greenhouse we have was only 1,000 square feet, and now we got 120,000 square feet, and we only built on as our customers required. We look at it as we don't produce a food, we produce the soul food. If you grow plants and they're on your porch or they're in your backyard, it makes you feel so good inside. We hope that we give that to people that come to buy plants. If spring is all about colorful flowers, then it's basically spring year-round at Hidden Hollow Garden Art, where you can find a fantastic gift for Mother's Day or something special for your own yard. My husband and I are co-owners of Hidden Hollow Garden Art. My role here is that I am one of the main artists. I design the products and the pieces. The idea for Hidden Hollow came from this place. And as soon as we stepped foot on this property and were shown the buildings, we knew what the path was going to be. We have this amazing team that will do whatever, <laughs> whatever I ask of them or say, hey, you guys know I have this idea. And they're like, okay, let's do it. So I'm really grateful for them because they make a lot of it happen. As far as my aesthetic, I am drawn to anything that is bright, bold, colorful. And then every now and then there's a piece that I just feel like needs to be completely rusty. And that's just how it feels. And somebody recently asked me, like, how do you decide? And I said, well, it's a feeling. <laughs> I love quotes, I love anything that people can read, so that way maybe when you're walking through and you see the tiniest little message, it makes you smile or it makes you think. Our mission is to spread happiness and inspiration and creativity really around the world. It's always so inspiring when people have passions, turn them into careers and then share them with others. And could you imagine if your passion was beer? Well, that's what we're seeing here today in Chilton at Beer Fest. Welcome to Beer Fest. This is our 31st annual Wisconsin Microbrewers Beer Fest. Today there are 28 breweries. And this really is a party. There's live music. People are yep. enjoying themselves. One of the three, biggest three parties buildings. in the area, right? Three buildings, uh, about 170 different beers on tap all at the same time. This isn't a uh, your typical sip and social. This is a beer drinker's beer fest. Roland's Calumet Brewery, which hosts Beer Fest, is located in Chilton, Wisconsin, and has been a significant part of the community for nearly 40 years. Today, you can find their beer at nearly 40 Wisconsin bars. Stop in for a drink or grab a growler to go. That is something to cheers to. Oh, Hi, I'm Rob Gard, former director, writer, and producer for Discover Wisconsin. Congratulations on 35 years of telling the stories of the people and places that make Wisconsin such a special place to live. There are some really unique attributes to the geography of Calumet County, including 20 plus miles of shoreline along Lake Winnebago, and the Niagara Escarpment carves through its landscape with cliffs and caves. There are several parks in the county that highlight these features and provide recreation for families and outdoor enthusiasts. Well, Ledgeview Nature Center is about two miles south of Chilton and we are an environmental education center, predominantly for kids, but we find that adults have a pretty good time here as well. If you want to visit the interpretive center, we have a range of displays that showcase the geology of the area, also some of the wildlife. The animal programs that we offer here at the Nature Center are very popular. Sometimes we guide people through the animals that we keep here at the Nature Center, their biology, their habitat. We keep an assortment of native Wisconsin snakes and turtles. We find that those are particularly popular because kids are able to interact with them in a hands-on way. 
your cave program is especially popular. Tell me about that. Carolyn's Caverns were first discovered here in the park in 1986. We do have dolomite here as our bedrock, which is part of the Niagara Escarpment. Because dolomite is a carbonate rock, it means that rainwater, which is weakly acidic, can dissolve that rock away over a long period of time. Kids love them because they get to crawl through tunnels, they get to touch mud, and they get to explore. We believe that hands-on is really the best way for kids to learn here at the Nature Center. Two Calumet County parks sit on the edge of Lake Winnebago. Calumet County Park and High Cliff State Park both offer camping, lake access, and land recreation. So we are at beautiful High Cliff State Park. Tell me about this place. High Cliff is unique among the Wisconsin State Park system for several reasons. The park is located on the Niagara Escarpment. The Niagara Escarpment is a 1,000 mile ridge that begins in Niagara Falls, New York, and then we have it exposed here at High Cliff State Park. Well, we have 18 miles of hiking trails in the park, and we have a variety of difficulty. There is a bit of elevation change from down at Lake Winnebago to up here at the cliff. Well, we have access to the lake for swimming, for fishing, a lot of sailing as well. We have an equestrian trail. That equestrian trail is shared with bikers and hikers. There's a tower that's very popular in the northern part of the park. It's 40 feet high and has 64 steps. Count them. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, I made it! That view is worth it. Look how gorgeous this is. People can get a very panoramic view of Lake Winnebago and the surrounding countryside from there. Each season offers something spectacular. For those of you who like a few extra amenities with your camping experience or want to trade in your tent for a cabin, you've got to check out Lakeview RV Park and Cabins. Ooh, how cute is this? So cozy and nice. Yep, more comfortable than a tent. There are 52 acres of wooded RV sites, 10 sites, and 10 cabins that have AC. They've got mini golf, frisbee golf, a jump pillow, a playground, horseshoes, and shuffleboard, plus a heated pool. When you're hungry, cook out at your campfire or head to the Oasis Bar and Grill for a burger or pizza. Located right on top of the Niagara Escarpment with incredible views of Lake Winnebago. So by now I've spent a good deal of time here in Calumet County and it continues to surprise and delight me with its natural beauty activities and rural charm. But what really stood out the more time I spent here was consistently how wonderful the people are, how they have an appreciation for this place, pride for their heritage, and pour their hearts out into this community. You know, working on Discover Wisconsin, I've gotten to do a lot of things, but this is the first time I've ever been in a snow globe. Ah, oh, oh, I love it! Love it! <laughs>